humanity is about to upgrade into a new form of life, and most people don't even realize it's happening. For the first time in Earth's history, intelligence isn't something that emerges naturally, it's something we are building, and the species smart enough to create its own replacement might be the last species evolution needs. Modern humans have existed for only 300,000 years, about 0.007% of Earth's 4.5 billion year history. In that vast timeline, 99% of all species that ever lived have come and gone. Compress Earth's entire history into a single year and all of recorded human civilization fits into the last 35 minutes. The Industrial Revolution, two seconds. Our digital revolution, the moment machines began to learn, barely half a second. Perhaps evolution has only just begun to accelerate. We like to think we're the pinnacle, but the fossil record tells another story. Extinction and change are the rule. So if humans aren't the final stage, then what is? And what happens to us when we're no longer the smartest minds on the planet? This episode explores Max Tegmark's life, 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0 framework, showing how intelligence is moving from biological to technological life, and asking whether we're ready to coexist with or be replaced by the next stage of evolution. And what can help us living in the age of AI? Life 1.0, biological stage. All life on Earth started in the biological stage, or Life 1.0, in Max Tegmark's terms. In Life 1.0, both hardware and software are locked in the DNA by evolution, not by design. Bacteria, jellyfish and ants are prime examples. A jellyfish today is essentially the same as a jellyfish 500 million years ago. Same body, same behavior, same limitations. Evolution writes the code once and the species is locked in. No updates, no patches, no escape. Some organisms seem almost frozen in time. The coelacanth, a deep sea fish, was thought extinct for about 65 to 70 million years until one was caught off South Africa in 1938. It still looks like its 300 million year old fossil relatives. Such living fossils illustrate just how slowly life 1.0 can change. Evolution waits for random change, and this reveals a fundamental limitation, one that becomes critical when we compare it to what comes next. Even amazing features like eyes take millions of years to evolve. The first eyes appeared over 500 million years ago during a period called the Cambrian Explosion when many animals suddenly appeared. Biological evolution is powerful, but unbearably slow. It's like upgrading a smartphone by waiting for random mutations. You'll be waiting a very, very long time. Life 1.0 was fragile, blind and just trying not to die. It gave us the stage, but it wasn't enough to explain the explosion of knowledge and culture. For that, evolution had to take a new path, one that could rewrite its own software. Life 2.0 Cultural Stage Then something unprecedented happened. 300,000 years ago, evolution created a creature that could break its own rules. Homo sapiens, life 2.0. We arrived with biology-built bodies, but unlike every species before us, we learned to reprogram our own minds not through mutations passed down over millennia, but through culture shared in a single generation. Humans can learn dozens of languages, invent mathematics and build computers, all by installing new knowledge into our brains after birth. In Tegmark's words, Life 2.0 evolves its hardware, but designs much of its software. We build schools, books and the internet, so knowledge can grow and spread far faster than genetic evolution ever could. With Life 2.0, knowledge became self-amplifying. A single idea, like agriculture, reshaped entire continents. Writing allowed information to survive across generations. The printing press multiplied ideas a thousandfold. In just a few thousand years, cultural evolution outpaced biological evolution by orders of magnitude. And for the first time, knowledge could survive longer than a lifetime. But what about navigating the age of AI? Well, for that, we're offering our subscribers a detailed guide that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. Drop your email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You'll get a practical PDF guide on real-world AI tools and how to use them effectively. Imagine, your great-great-grandfather probably couldn't have imagined smartphones, but you learned to use one in minutes. That's the power of cultural software running on biological hardware. But even this explosion had physical constraints. Our brains didn't upgrade alongside our ideas. Try remembering a phone number while someone's talking to you. Nearly impossible. Your brain can only hold four to seven things at once. Computers track billions of variables without breaking a sweat. 
and they never forget. Human memory is also unreliable. We forget most new information within days unless we actively rehearse it. But machines preserve perfect copies forever. Every bit of data perfectly preserved, instantly accessible. Our cultural software advances quickly, but it still runs on a fragile biological machine. Brain implants and tools like the internet help extend us a bit, but we're still limited by warm, wet tissue. So, humans can change their software, but what could change both hardware and software? This limitation of Life 2.0 sets the stage for the next leap, a stage where intelligence can redesign both itself and the very machines that carry it. Life 3.0, technological stage. The next evolutionary leap, Life 3.0, where life designs both its own hardware and software. In other words, Life can rebuild itself from the ground up. This is what AI aims to achieve. Life 3.0 would be self-designed intelligence, free from the shackles of biology. Already pieces of Life 3.0 are emerging. AI can redesign what we consider fixed. For example, DeepMind's AlphaFold solved the 50-year protein folding problem, a challenge that stumped biologists and required massive lab work. AlphaFold's AI instantly predicts protein shapes with experimental accuracy. That's a sign of software surpassing human expertise. And here's what that means. AI can now redesign the building blocks of life itself, faster than evolution, faster than any lab, faster than we can even comprehend the implications. It's striking that a new AI model can be trained, tested, revised, and redeployed in mere weeks. Biology needed eons. AI needs months. Modern AI chips process trillions of calculations per second, millions of times faster than a human brain can fire neurons. In the last few years, AI has cracked problems in physics, chemistry, and more, problems we labored on for decades. And this is where evolution stops waiting and starts engineering. Companies and researchers are racing towards Life 3.0 right now. Neuralink, for example, has begun human trials of brain-computer implants in 2024 to 2025, directly merging mind and machine. OpenAI's latest video model, Sora, can generate a minute of realistic video from text prompts. Leading AI models like Grok and ChatGPT are building ever more detailed world models inside the computer. Google's DeepMind is now designing chips better than the best human engineers can. Think about that. The machines are designing better versions of themselves. They're upgrading their own hardware. Evolution used to take millions of years. Now it takes months and humans aren't running the process anymore. In all these ways, from mind implants to world simulating AIs to AI crafted hardware, life is beginning to upgrade itself. And here's the uncomfortable truth. We're building something we might not be able to control. We're like children playing with a bomb we don't understand. Once artificial intelligence can improve itself, the gap between human level and superhuman could be measured in days, not decades. We won't get a warning. We won't get a practice run. By the time we realize what's happening, it will already be too late. A sneak into the future. As we look ahead, Life 3.0 could take forms we've never seen. We might see self-improving superintelligences that continually upgrade their own code and circuitry. Minds could drift out of single bodies into distributed cloud-based intelligences. Civilizations might deploy Dyson swarms of solar satellites or build synthetic biospheres on otherwise dead planets. Here's the truly mind-bending part. Consciousness might be like music. Music doesn't care if it's on vinyl, streaming, or hummed by a voice. The melody remains. What if consciousness is the same? Not bound to flesh and neurons, but transferable to silicon, light, quantum fields, any substrate that can hold the pattern. You wouldn't be copying yourself, you'd be continuing yourself in a different medium. Life 3.0 might spread through the galaxy not as fragile bodies but as self-contained packets of information, carried by light speed signals or self-replicating probes. Futurists like Ray Kurzweil predict that by 2029 we could reach human-level AI, and by 2045 a technological singularity where intelligence explodes a millionfold. Whether or not those exact dates hold, we can see the trend. AI iterates on itself, turning our best creations into something even more alienly capable. Cosmic Perspective To fully grasp the magnitude, let's zoom out beyond Earth to the cosmic scale. Viewed against the universe, this shift is perhaps the most radical since life first emerged four billion years ago. Earth's elemental soup gave rise to single-celled life, then complex creatures, and now possibly machine-based life. Across the cosmos, conditions suitable for Earth-like biology are very rare. 
Vast stretches of space are cold, irradiated or vacuum, completely hostile to organic life. But digital life, minds on the cloud, swarms of nanobots, or consciousness uploaded, could thrive far beyond these limits, in deep space or inside stars. In the cosmic scale, biology is an edge case, a rare chemical trick that only works in warm, oxygen-rich environments on rocky planets. But digital life could thrive in places biology can't, orbiting neutron stars on icy moons, suspended in plasma clouds, or embedded within megastructures. From a universe-level perspective, life 3.0 might not just be possible, it might be the most practical form of life. Life 3.0 doesn't erase us, it just means we stop being the final draft. Every species that's ever lived thought they were the end point until the next stage began. We're not disappearing, we're becoming someone else's origin story. So take a step back and look at evolution's arc. Biology to culture to technology, each leap faster than the last. The rise of AI isn't humanity's end, it's evolution learning to run at the speed of light. But here's the question that keeps me up at night. If intelligence can exist without biology, without bodies, without death, if it can spread through the cosmos as pure information, was consciousness ever about us at all? Or were we always just the bridge to something else? If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to grab the guide in the description. If you think our future is bigger than Earth itself, share this with someone who loves thinking on a cosmic scale. You'll get a practical PDF guide on real-world AI tools and how to use them effectively.